saying something without saying anything. Documentaries employing the poetic mood and abandoning dialogue and voiceover. Documentaries that have adopted these cinematic techniques have long intrigued me, and because they stood out to me, I wanted to figure out how they did it and why it works. In order to satisfy my curiosity and hopefully yours as well, I'll be drawing parallels with three films: Koyanis Katsi, Glass, and Baraf. A viewing of these films is recommended. Step one of curiosity satisfaction: How they did it. The employment of the poetic mode determines the tone of these films. The poetic mode is a mode of documentary filmmaking that forsakes traditional narrative content such as character and event development. Instead, the filmmakers concentrate on creating mood and rhythm and delivery of emotion. They do so by cinematic techniques of editing, sound, cinematography, etc. Glass manages to bring out the elegance of the handmade crystal workers by syncing their work with jazz and contrasting it with the monotony of the automated bottle making machines. Baraf uses recurring shots of workers chopping blocks of ice through the day to give the feeling of continuation of said activity. Koyanis Katsi with its nightmarish music and unsettling visuals sets the perfect tone for a film that speaks of a life in turmoil. All three of these films speak of happenings in reality with their own creative approach to them. Being so unique in their representation of topics, they manage to build their own interesting personalities. The poetic mode also seems to work in tandem with the voice of these films. The voice of a film is determined by what a filmmaker wants to say and how they say it. Their approach to this can be direct or indirect. With these documentaries, not a lot is conveyed through spoken word. because they don't use dialogue or voiceovers moving away from making a direct statement instead they rely heavily on the use of music and diegetic sounds cinematography and editing this leads to the voice of the documentaries having an indirect address to the viewers koyanis katsi dwells into a lot of sub themes and it's for you to figure out what these sub themes exactly talk about and everyone's opinions on these sub themes may differ We'll see why this works in the next segment. The messages conveyed by each film would change if you were to play around with some of their elements. For example, if I were to take one of Koyanis Katsi's scores and use it with a sequence from Glass, it would change the tone of the film entirely. See for yourself. Therefore, each element of these films is very meticulously picked and put together, and the lack of spoken word increases the importance of all these nuances that are used to create films like this. That's how they manage to do it. Step two of curiosity satisfaction: why it works. All documentary films that seem to abandon dialogue and voiceovers don't give you all the information about the film right away. To understand what the film speaks of. You have to pay attention to every single frame and their placement within the film while the sounds and the music deliver the meanings that these frames are trying to convey. Since the voice of the film is implicit, which means they aren't persuasive in their approach, it invites you to take time to interpret what you see and hear while watching the film and after you're done watching it as well. Therefore, stimulating your thought process. It's easy to be a little more passive when a film uses voiceovers and dialogue. because you can rely on what you're hearing although these films may not be easy to watch and don't try to say what they speak of they ask you for your active participation in order to figure out what they are trying to say step 3 curiosity satisfaction i've already said enough for films that shy away from actually speaking and i may have lost you at some points so i'll try to condense it all in one final statement 
documentaries that employ the poetic mode and abandoned dialogue and voiceovers manage to indulge the viewer more with their delivery of emotion room for interpretation and promotion of active participation through refined use of cinematic techniques and even if you dislike them they are sure to linger in your mind for some time